As a paranormal investigator, there are times you get access to a location that is so fantastic, you feel like you're on an episode of Scooby-Doo. The Toner Maley House is just such a place. This mid-19th century Italianate Renaissance-style mansion is in Edinburgh, Indiana. Its owner, Torrin Scott, has reported paranormal phenomena there such as disembodied voices, unaccounted for footfalls, full-bodied apparitions of adults and children. And there are areas of the home where men feel not welcome. This video was my second investigation of the Toner Maley House, and I was accompanied by Lindsay Heideman, my brother Kyle Turner, my daughter Shelby Jackson, and the ever so handsome and fierce Mike Caldwell. I was particularly disappointed with this visit. In review of the data we recorded, there were no Class A EVPs. At this time, paranormal investigations are diluted by investigators that are distracted by seeking instant gratification for their experience, even if it's not real. Using piss poor made ITC apps loaded with Halloween buzzwords that seemingly nullify their critical thinking skills to where they don't care to determine what is unexplainable phenomena versus what is preloaded on an app. But this does give opportunity for chills as accolades pump up subscribers to their YouTube channel, right? With a ghost box or an ITC app, you always know a voice will come through. And if your confirmation bias, even with good intentions, is that you desire everything you hear to be a spirit or the voice of a recently deceased celebrity, boom, that's what you get, dumb shit, right? Everything is a ghost. Not so fast. You're either inexperienced and mistakenly fooling yourself, or you know better and you're the captain sailing the douche canoe and you're purposely misleading others. So why did I post this video with data that isn't supported by any Class A EVPs? It was the whistling. Strange whistling that we would either hear directly with our own ears or was only picked up by our recorders. This whistling was captured on various levels of the Toner Maley house that night and I feel that along with some inexplicable footsteps and some Class C EVPs we received, it was enough to substantiate the intelligent and relevant responses we received through our ghost boxes. Please note, most responses are heard upon review and not in real time. Changes in the video's filter visually mark the replies that were the most significant. Those various audio responses have been enhanced, repeated, and sometimes slowed down. As always, we do not offer this video as irrefutable evidence of the paranormal, nor do we claim our annotations are 100% conclusive. All we're asking is that you please approach the data presented here with a curious mind, and that you wear damn headphones. Okay, we're recording. So right now, this is Lindsay and Shelby in the, what is this called, the Rose Room? I guess. Um, there's a couple devices around the room, and in the hallway you're going to hear the to toilet finish flushing. Mm -hmm. um, degrees is 65.1 in here, and then we got some REM pods over here, and, and the Tesla coil, some things around the room. And so. we're going to do an EVP session. How many spirits are in this house?
Why do you not like men? Can you tell us your name? Did you hear that whistle? I heard something. It sounded like somebody went. Hmm. Are you whistling at us? Okay, we're going to play this back here in just a minute and hopefully we heard you come through. What's that, Bobby? <laughs> Are you in there? Come on in. Come on in and talk to us. I'm just hanging out. Can you do that again? What's this supposed to do? Charge the air. EMF. Something metal to that. Hmm? Touch something metal to that. No, I mean like you hold on to it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Pip squeak. I'm getting you. <laughs> Something's getting Kyle. Are you standing over here next to us? That was cool. Thanks for lighting that up. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm a dick. But yeah, it shows it's not the recorder that's several of them pick it up. Mm -hmm. By the way, the restroom on the second floor, mm -hmm. if you piss in it, it's not hooked up. <laughs> what? The bathroom up here is not hooked up. So you have to go downstairs? Which one, did yeah. you, which one did you go to? Did you piss in it? <laughs> it's not hooked up. Honey, yes it is. The one by the pink room? I don't know what color the room was, but it just... <laughs> I flushed. You flushed it? <laughs> yes. That's, was uh, the bathroom white or was there murals on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. 
I How do you not know? He went to a phantom toilet. What do you guys look down to make sure they're not pissed on their feet? <laughs> no. Like, what do you want? How many people are in this room right now? Say toner. Can you say one of our names? Did you say leave? I said leave here. Do you want us to leave? Shut this off. Do you have any messages? You think he wants to tell Torn? footsteps. Yeah. Who's coming up the hallway or in the basement? At this point of the night, we were joined by paranormal researcher Dale White, who's probably spent more time in the Toner Melee house than anyone else. What's the name of this house? Can you say hello? Hi. Can you say Dale? Get out. What's the name of this town? Do you know the name of this town? I'm telling you guys you're in the right spot. Can you say, do you know Mike? What country are we in?
United States. Where are you at? Are you here? Do you live in this house? What's the name of the lady that owns this house? Thorn? Yeah? What's the name of this, this guy right here that hangs out in this house all the time, takes pictures? What's his name? What's his name again? Do you know Dale's last name? What do they call this house? What's your name? Who's been whistling all night in the house? Me. Can you whistle again?